So here's some real world probability problems that, that uh, would be of particular interest to, to game players or or if you're taking a trip to Las Vegas. Um, a six-sided die is tossed twice. Find the probability that the sum is at least eight. Now we could go ahead and just start grinding this one out and try to come up with all of the ordered pairs of dice rolls like five and three is eight, five and six is 11 and start grinding those out. But we might wanna organize ourselves into a chart uh, similar to this, which anybody who has studied some probability courses will be very, very familiar with this chart. So I've got a red die and I've got a blue die that I'm rolling. And of course, these represent the possibilities of either of those. And then sometimes we just, in the chart, within the chart, we list them as ordered pairs. But in this case, I'm interested in the sum of these two dice. So my sums would be two, three, four, five. Boy, you build this an awful lot if you're taking probability courses. particularly helpful if you have multiple questions involving the sums. In this case, we just have the one question. So it's almost a little bit disappointing that we just have one question on this because it's it takes a little bit of time to build that. Um, one thing you might notice from this chart is that our diagonals are all maintain the same value and our longest diagonal is where the sum is seven. Um, this is pretty simplistic to understand because assume I roll a die and then wait and roll the second die, no matter what I roll on my first die, I still have a chance of getting a seven. If I was looking for nines, I had better roll a three or better on my first die. So the, the diagonal was seven, there are six different ways we can, we can arrive at a seven. And then as I separate from seven, either bigger to eight, lesser to six, uh, the number just de decreases by one. So maybe some of these we could do without the aid of the whole chart, but but as we're as we're starting, uh, we may want to go ahead and chart it. Okay. So in this case, here is my probabilities. This would be the different ways I could win. And so this is really just an organized, grinded out process where we can win five eights, four nines, three tens, two elevens, or a 12, or five plus four, nine plus three, 12, 13, 14, 15 ways out of, in our six by six grid, 36 options for five twelfths of the time.